Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our Budget Kindred series looking at the elves and plus one plus one counter elves this time. Okay, so honorable mentions. These are all 10 cents or less. Oh, budget. Armorcraft Judge 3 in a green for 3-3. Three, three. Mm. When he enters the battlefield, you draw a card for every creature with a plus one plus one counter on it. And then flicker him and do it again if you want. Um, oh boy. That can be like your card draw sorted. Boss's Chauffeur. Four and a white for a zero, zero. He enters the battlefield with number of plus one plus one on him equal to the number of creatures you control. This is double good in a token deck. I'm going to get to why. Alliance. Whenever an, an, another creature enters, another plus one plus one counter goes on this. So this is going to be a monster fast in a token deck. And when he dies, create a, a 1 1 green and white citizen creature token for each plus one plus one on it. So, the, one of the main threats with a token deck is like a board wipe just setting you back to zero. This is going to like, the board will, will take him out and it'll just like make a whole pile of these uh, token creatures. Um, basically, like putting you back to like the, where you began. Um, it's amazing. It's an amazing card in that type of deck. Finally, Green Hilt Trainee. A uh, three and a green for a two, three. This is this does not make counters. This benefits from them. Um, if you get, again, it starts as a two, three. If you get them up to four, you can tap them and give anything a plus four, plus four. So you really just want to get this to four attack or four, um, yeah. I, Power, sorry, yeah, for power, as soon as it's that, you, then you can just at instant speed tap them. You can see, you know, you can do combat, see where who gets blocked, who doesn't, whatever to get through. Hey, plus four damage, just throw it on there. Um, it adds up so fast. Number five, Realm Seekers. So four green green. 6 CMC is really, really high. It is. I'm not going to pretend it's not. When it enters the battlefield, or sorry, it enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of cards in all players' hands. Okay, 1v1. This is not worth it. I would not take this. In like a four player game, though, this is nuts. This is potentially, I don't even know how many plus 1 plus 1 counters four players might have in their hand. Like, Probably got at least one person playing some kind of blue card draw thing. It's gonna just be a monster. Like 6 CMC, you're probably... I think 10 is not an unreasonable... Between four players having 10 cards. Like, that's not... That's not crazy, you know? That's... Two players having two cards, two players having three cards. Done. You're at 10 already. Like, I... Anyway. For two and a green... Remove a plus one plus one counter from uh, this. Search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. This is not ideal, right? Mostly just because of the cost. It is two in a green. That is a high cost for the effect of just like getting a land to hand. It is any land you want, right? So in your like multicolored decks, especially if you're doing like a Wooberg deck, this is a very nice option to have. Even if it's expensive, it's like gonna be something you need to do. Especially once you get if you get cards that are like double mana. You know, if you need like two red red, getting two mountains or two red sources out is gonna be a hassle. This will like simplify things every for you. So yeah, this can be very good. Anyway, 14 cents. Number four. Ivy Lane Denizen. So for three and a green is a two, three. And whenever another green creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. So you can use this to boost anything you want just from green creatures entering. It does not care if they're like token, non-token, doesn't matter. So uh, green is really good at making tokens. So yeah, this is very, very abusable. Even like bo boss's chauffeur, the citizen tokens are white green. So if, uh, you know, even if you sacrifice that to set off his uh, trigger to like make a whole bunch of plus one plus ones, or sorry, 
to make a whole bunch of one one creatures you'll get a bunch of plus one plus ones out of that as well so that's something where you can start setting things up in such a way where even you know getting removal using removal on your own creature could end up making you just into like a powerhouse basically so anyway 14 cents number three master biomancer okay two green blue so simic this is one of my go-to simic cards for sure um for two for each other creature you control enters the battlefield with additional plus one plus one counters on equal to his power and has mutant in, in addition to its other types so this is absolutely crazy especially in like a token deck or something if you're making one ones automatically they just get these plus one plus one counters thrown on them and a minimum of two and if you get plus one plus one counters on him it's going to be more proliferate deck oh my gosh um simic is great with proliferate as well uh anyway the downside there is everything is a mutant so if they have some kind of effect where they could just say hey i'm destroying all of this creature type that's your whole board gone right so there's a downside, but 40 cents? Number two. Uh, Rishkar, Pimon, Renegade. Two and a green for a two, two. When it enters, you can put two plus one plus one counters, or you can put a plus one plus one counter on two different creatures. So yeah, you can't put two on one creature, unfortunately. That's really good. This is a two, two for three that puts two counters. So it's four power going onto the battlefield right away. For three mana, that's a good exchange rate. And each creature you control with a counter on it has tap to add green. So everything is a mana dork. Everything that has a counter of any kind is a mana dork. Um, if you've got like Master Biomancer and a whole bunch of tokens, great. All your tokens are now mana dorks. Um, oh boy, so much work this does. 16 cents, I think because he's been printed a lot, 16 cents. Number one, Evolution Witness. Okay, so whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on, ev oh sorry, I should read the first part first, yeah. Um, two and a green for two one, but it has adapt two for a one and a green, which means you put two plus one plus one counters on there. And whenever, yeah, one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Evolution Witness, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Just recursion. It is only permanent, so no instants or sorceries, but usually this effect is limited to like creatures or something like that. And it usually like actually costs mana or something. Here, even if you like, you get those counters on her, you, you pay the adapt and then you proliferate those counters. Every time you pro proliferate is now turned into a, also recursion. Proliferate slash recursion. Because pro proliferate wasn't good enough already, um, we're going to add that. This is a card where I expected this to like go way up in value after it's released. It actually dropped. It makes no sense. It is such a good card. Uh, 11 cents only right now. The list. Okay, Realm Seekers is 14 cents. Ivy Lane Denison is also 14 cents. Master Biomancer is 40 cents. Rishkar, Pima Renegade, 15 cents. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Evolution Witness, 11 cents. Once again, proliferate. If you've got green proliferate, get this card. It's just like throwing stuff back into your hand. It's better than card draw, I think, because pulling things out of your graveyard, you control what you're go is going to your hand. Also, People put things in your graveyard because they're a problem, because they don't like them. So getting them back is kind of like an extra kind of, you know, salt on the moons thing. Anyway, take it easy.